Right? We're kind of the young guys out in the CRM world, but we're, we're making a real splash. We've been able to do some incredible things for this network specifically. So that's what I want to talk to you guys about tonight. I've got a couple different things planned, okay? So stick with me. Here's what I want to do. To start, we're actually going to talk, before I jump into the physical TeamZ system, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the philosophy that underpins TeamZ. Okay? The overall systems that we chose to employ to make TeamZ the incredible tool that it is today. So I'm going to kind of bring it full circle. We're going to talk a little bit about best practices, some, uh, some important principles for you to keep in mind. So grab a pen and paper because I'm going to kind of come at you fast and hard here in the beginning. Okay? So we'll go through the presentation really quickly and then we're going to head over into TeamZ. I'm going to take you through how quickly and easily you can set things up. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks along the way for kind of making that as painless as possible. I know the setup process can be scary, okay? But I promise it's going to be painless. And then we're going to segue into becoming a power hour boss. Because even without having met any of you incredible individuals, I know you're living crazy busy lives, right? <laughs> there are little ones just outside of the frame that I can't see that are looking to you for life, okay? You've got careers and just households to run, and life takes a lot of time and a lot of your energy. So when you've got maybe an hour, two hours at most to devote to your business, you want to know that you're focused and really maximizing on that time. And that's what I want to talk about right after we go over the setup. So we'll talk about how to become a power hour boss. And then last but not least, we're going to be following up like a pro, okay? Because I know it and you know it. The fortune isn't a follow-up. But it can be the most uncomfortable thing for folks. You feel like you're nagging or you're bothering people. First tip of the night between you and me, okay? Follow-up, okay, is an act of love. You're showing up when you said you would. For a lot of folks, we're going through life being disappointed by one thing or another. So imagine you're that one consistent factor in your life, where you're choosing either through your reach outs or through your connections, whatever they may be, to be that, that resilience in their life, right? I'm, I'm that person that you can depend on. And when they're deciding to make a real life change, like, you know, their health and their fitness, that might be a big factor. I'm going to give you a lot of food for thought tonight, okay? So that's where we'll start. So that's everything that I have planned, and then we'll get into an open Q&A. So if you have specific questions, hang tight, okay? Use the question and answer section if you're thinking, I just need to jot this down so I don't forget it. Go ahead and do that, okay? Use the chat feature, and I'll go through all of that in real time and kind of demo for you on the screen. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump in. I should be sharing my presentation with you now. Okay, guys, so this is what we're going to talk about tonight, okay? How to leverage relationship marketing to become a hashtag power hour boss. Okay, so that's where I want to start, okay, is the concept of relationship marketing. But before we dive in, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of our background here at TeamZ so you know who you're working with. So, like I mentioned, my name is Jay. And honestly, my background has always been in tech systems, uh, online tools uh, that business professionals use to leverage their busy lives. So, my specific background is in business coaching. I was employed by one of the largest business coaching firms here in North America for the last five or six years. While I was there, I got to help them create their CRM system. So, I have a lot of experience in this industry. I want you to consider me a resource, okay? There is no silly question. I've been training on this with all different industry professionals, so there is no dumb question. There's no, I don't want you to feel like, well, she's going to think I'm dumb because I don't know the basics, or there are no basics, okay? There is no normalcy. There's no place you should be on the tech spectrum, okay? You are where you are, and I'd love to meet you there. So if you need help, at the end of my presentation, I'm going to share my direct contact information so that you know if you need to reach out, you have a real person that you can call, or even text, okay? So I'm going to pop out of my presentation really quickly. Just to meet all of the lines. I need to do that good job. Okay, so, like I mentioned, that's a little bit of my background, but our entire team here at TeamZ has a specific background in business coaching, because our creator and founder, Eric Johnson, understood that that was a fundamental aspect, that we needed to understand how to build sustainable businesses, and then also understand the tech world. So, he put together a team, and we created TeamZ. Eric Johnson got involved with Beachbody originally for the physical transformation, just like many of you and then realized there was the business opportunity, but no tools to support him. And he had been working with us 
helping realtors and helping uh, contractors build their businesses using tech tools. So he thought, let's create one. And that's where Teamsy was born. So consider that when you're using Teamsy, it was created by a coach or coaches. Okay, so we've tailored lots of different features in there just to help your day to day, help you really maximize over time and get things coming along. So that's a little bit of our background. Let's jump in. Okay, so we're going to talk about relationship marketing to start. So what is relationship marketing? This has become sort of a buzzword um, with all of the many networks that are sort of growing and you know coming out of nowhere this becomes a buzz term everybody's talking about relationships and relationally growing your business but not everyone really understands the core fundamentals to it because relationship marketing is a system it's a lead generation system or a system that initiates inquiry or interest into the products and services that you offer so as a beach body coach kind of sounds like that's the name of the game. I'm in a business where I need to, it's paramount that I constantly be bringing in new people, introducing new individuals to the products and the services that I offer, whether it be to change their lives or introduce them to a new lifestyle. So, important principle number one, you are in the lead generation business. Not so much the Shakeology business, not so much the posting your before and afters business, you are in the lead generation business. Because just like Diana said a moment ago, you need, okay, you've decided, you've taken on that commitment to grow your business. I've decided that regardless of what I get out of this, I have decided to help individuals experience the change, the life-changing transformation that is the Beach Body products. And I've decided to help people find the life-changing business opportunities also. To do that, I have to accept that I'm in the lead generation business. Because if I'm not dedicating time every single day, every single day, to generating new leads or bringing in new individuals into, um, uh, into contact with the products and services, I've closed the doors on my business. I'm in this as a discount coach. This is about my transformation, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you need to decide. It has to be an intentional action right here and right now because there are going to be certain activities, certain responsibilities that come with making that decision. So, important principle number one, you are in the lead generation business. Number two, developing and deepening relationships is your paramount duty as a business owner. Developing and deepening relationships is your paramount duty as a business owner, which is exactly what you are. As a beach body coach, you've taken on that commitment. I've decided to be the guiding factor for, for my entire team to help them grow, build their businesses, and change their lives. In order to do that, I accept the responsibilities of a business owner. I'm putting on that business owner hat, meaning I'm charged with things like acquisition, lead generation, finding new people, introducing them to the products and services that I offer daily, retention, keeping people on board, committed, bought into the workout plans, faithfully using their Shakeology so that they can see the progress in the journey, okay? Because what you all offer is hope with a plan. And oftentimes when you have to stick to a plan, it means people deviate, they fall off the wagon. And it's your responsibility to keep them on board. Retention, okay? And then last but not least, customer service. You're the, you're, all paths have to lead to you as a beach body coach. They need to be able to come to you with questions about every which agave, emoji berry, uh, protein whey shake. You need to be able to answer it all, okay? So as a business owner who's charged with acquisition, retention, customer service, it is your paramount duty to deepen and develop every single relationship. If you wanna build your business relationally, if you wanna build a sustainable business. Okay. We do this, we deepen and we, de we develop relationships, we take the time to invest trust and time with people so that we can turn our relationships into advocates. Into advocates. 
because advocates are what you want out in the marketplace, guys. Advocates are walking, talking billboards. You couldn't buy that advertising if you tried, okay? These are people who are out there already reading about you. My coach is amazing. Did you see all of the results that Justin's helping me achieve? Have you seen all the progress that Dion is helping? Okay, these are the things that they're talking about. They're going out there and telling everyone who will listen, okay? And this is genuine peer feedback. And that's where people make decisions from. I don't do anything anymore without Googling it or yelling it, okay? And the same is happening out in the marketplace, okay? People are talking about the services and the, 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 the products that you offer, the way that you choose to coach and lead, okay? They're watching. So consider that every responsibility, every single opportunity you take to deepen and develop your relationships, you are turning relationships into advocates. And these advocates are going to go out in the marketplace and they're going to bring you back more people like them who want your help. People of a certain quality. That if we're being honest, and that's what this girl's going to do for you, okay? People that warrant the service, your time, your hard work. People that are worthy, okay? So consider that deepening and developing relationships allows you to turn relationships into advocates, which is what you want. Okay. Next important principle, relationship marketing depends on trust. Creating a steady stream of leads, uh, creating advocates on a daily basis depends, not a part of it, depends on trust. Why? Because trust makes this work more fun. You don't have to do the convincing, the weird song and dance and the spiel and the hang on, let me tell you why you should stay on the phone, right? Network marketing gets that bad rep. So a lot of people sort of gear up their objection before you start talking, <laughs> you know? And that oftentimes doesn't leave you with a good feeling, not a good taste in your mouth. Who wants to go back for seconds of that, right? But that's because people are feeling like you see them as a dollar sign, okay? Trust allows you to create a foundation that you can build on. Trust makes you a real person that they can come to with, I don't know, what may be the most exposing and vulnerable reach out for help they may ever make when it's about the stuff that's on the outside, right? What people are judging me about. But I chose you as my beach body coach. I chose to trust you on this journey. So consider, am I layering in trust? so that people know that we can really build a relationship here? Food for thought. Trust is also going to remove that ickiness, okay? That gross salesman, cold calling, door knocking feeling that people get. You are someone who is providing outstanding service. You are, uh, you're presenting folks with life-changing products and workout plans that could transition and change their, their life, their physical appearance, and their internal, their emotional, everything, right? So you simply need a foundation. You need your foot in the door because the second that you present these life-changing products to them, you know it's a no-brainer. They just need to see you as someone who wants to really help them. People can sense your genuine nature. I don't care what anyone in this business tells you, okay? Folks that get in networks and they go after the volume only, right? Find them, please them, forget them. They can make money, I'm not gonna lie. It's absolutely possible. But it's also possible that those people burn out, okay? That they have more of the days where they wanna rip their hair out and quit. So, is it about quality of life for you? Are you considering, can I grow a real sustainable team? A team that depends on me, that I can guide, that we can really take to the next level. Or am I just looking for anyone who's willing to come along with me today that I can move on to the next one? These are two different avenues of business. It's something that's important for you to decide up front. So trust is going to make the work more fun, okay? It's gonna remove that ickiness. And then you get to go for yes! Woo! It's, a good, it's, it's good to just think about for a moment. The idea of going for yes. Now I know. Talk to the right group here. You've all heard of the concept of going for no. I'm not going to discredit it, okay? I'm just going to say that it wasn't for me. <laughs> I had someone describe it to me for the first time, okay? 
And my reaction was, I'm sorry, did you just describe systemized rejection to me? Is that what that was? Is that what I just heard? I couldn't, okay, I just couldn't. I'm someone who understands there's a pool of people in my life I know I can help, who want my help, people who want to hear from me, people who want my support, uh, people who want to be a part of my tribe, right? I don't need to leave bodies in my wake. <laughs> just to work on and finding a place and forgetting me, it wasn't for me. So I took a step back and I thought, how else do I work my business? How else do I, uh, how else do I conduct my life? If I'm going to start any sort of a friendship, a uh, relationship of any kind, platonic or romantic, I know there has to be a foundation. So the same has to exist in my business. So. Building in or layering in trust allows you to deepen and develop those relationships further. So you can serve them better and for longer, okay? Because the key to retention, the key to having someone fall off the wagon and then coming back to you with their tail between their legs, right, is trust. They have to know that you're someone who's going to understand, someone who's going to be able to lift them up, uh, prop them back up, set them on the right path so that they can keep going. Trust is, is vital to the overall process of building your business relationally. It's going to allow you to go for yes, remove that ickiness from the sales process if you're feeling like it exists right now, and it's going to allow you to have a little more fun in your day-to-day -day business. So, we talked a lot about trust, but how do you build trust, right? Some of us are a little newer in the business, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, well, I don't know how to build trust with a prospect I just met on Facebook. Well, there are four essential ingredients to trust, okay? One, chemistry. Two, character. Three, competence. And four, consistency. Now we're going to take each of those one at a time. Chemistry. Now chemistry is one that I don't often have to describe all that much because many of you are doing this really well. Okay, chemistry uh, is where you've got common ground with someone. It's that initial spark that makes you want to learn a little more, uh, gets your foot in the door, that initial layer of foundation, right? A lot of people in network marketing do this well. Uh, they do these attention-grabbing campaigns uh, through social media where you're establishing your niche. These are great, okay, guys? Social media is an amazing tool. You get to cut through what used to be hours of uncomfortable small talk. Right? And you get to get right to the root of what they like, what they love, communities they're engaging in. What are they actually sharing? What are they actually posting? Because yeah, I can say to you, I'm a big reader. I love novels. And then you go on my Facebook and it's like, I love bones, right? I love the show, so you think you can dance. Like, you get to see a real side of people through social media. So consider, it's a great tool, okay? Especially to establish that first element, chemistry. Your spark. What do we have in common? What makes you a real person that's relatable that I can come to with my, you know what, today I ate a box of Oreos, right? But what makes you a real person? Oh yeah, she's a, she's a soccer mom, you know, who works really hard, demonstrates consistency, but she understands that she had a day one too, right? So consider, am I demonstrating that I'm a real person that they can approach? Uh, there, are, there should be no roadblocks. All paths lead to their coach. Okay, number two, number two, character. Okay, character is an interesting one. Character I all too often hear described as a possession only. My character, my character. She offended my character. Okay, if that's how you're describing it, folks, this is an empty claim. Okay? Because character needs to be openly demonstrated. So the key word there is demonstrated. Otherwise, just an empty claim. So, character is when you demonstrate how much you care and that you are relatable. This is another opportunity. Now that you have established your chemistry, right? The niche, your common ground, uh, communities that you both engage in, now it's your responsibility to demonstrate openly that you care, right? Share the things that they share, or share things that may, um, that share things with them that are relevant to what's going on in their lives. Tailor your service based on who you're working with, okay? So, character allows you to demonstrate. 
What about you is relatable to your customers, to your pool of prospects? So you're taking the opportunity to demonstrate that every day, okay? I mean face-to-face and belly-to-belly and through social media. And I'm going to talk to you about this a little more after we talk about the next one. So number three, competence. Okay, competence. (laughs) Competence is when you yet again demonstrate, okay? Demonstrate that you are good at what you do and that you are a business professional. So competence. Competence is one that most folks understand. You need to know everything about your products. You need to be a product of your product. You need to showcase that you believe, okay? And what's more is every time I pick up the phone and call my coach Justin, he needs to be able to tell me or talk me down from buying, you know, the the bulk whey protein at Costco. Or why he's got to be able to answer for me why agave and this, that, and whatever, why I should focus on my shakes. Right? Why I need to focus on my 21 day fix or why I need my three day refresh before. They need to feel confident in your knowledge base. So you need to be confident in your knowledge base. This is half of why coming out of each body corporate every single wake up call is are you a product of your product? Okay? You need to showcase that you are the expert because a certain amount of confidence comes with that. So, with competence, okay, you definitely should be demonstrating openly that you're competent with all of your products, your services, things that sort of parallel this industry, okay? Um, my husband is an expert in high intensity training, right? Because he's, my husband's a Marine, so this is something that he trains his Marines on, but he also loves it in his personal life. So find things that also parallel this industry, okay? Because people are interested in talking about these things also. Um, If there are particular uh, workout plans or workout styles that are trending, CrossFit is huge right now, but there are tons of Beachbody workouts that are very, uh, that are geared or very, or built in the same style. So if you're an expert on those things, if you're able to speak knowledgeably about these things, it gives you one more path, okay? Gives you one more thing that you've got in common that you can speak to intelligently. Okay, so I talked about how important it is for you to demonstrate your competence. But there's a curious balance here, guys, okay? There is a balance that needs to be achieved between competence and character. Otherwise, you quickly turn your personal page into an all business all the time page. And then you're less relatable. And then it's less, well, she's a real mom who I can come to and talk to about my journey, as opposed to that's just a fierce, you know, mom boss, beach body coach who I don't think I'll have a lot in common. So consider, if you're posting to social media, that there's a really good balance of three to one, okay? If I was going to post today on social media four times, I would choose three posts that are, that speak to my character, okay? I'm going to share a really great recipe for, I don't know, turning a cucumber into a brownie. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to share, and you know, an amazing, uh, I don't know, local business or uh, maybe someone that I'm working with. I might do a praise and acknowledge, you know, give them a shout out. Way to go on your day two, okay? It doesn't matter what day it is in their journey. They need to feel supported. So consider, you posting three things that demonstrate your character and then find that whopper that just really showcases your passion or how excited you are about progress that you've made using portables or uh, how much you love and Especially if so I want to say there, but this balance is face to face and belly to belly. All right. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and make you guys one more with another important principle. People only care about three things. Okay, guys? Three things. <laughs> And oftentimes, objections stem from these three questions. Can I trust you? Are you good at what you do? And do you care about me? Can I trust you? Are you good at what you do? And do you care about me specifically? So we're going to take those three questions. Can I trust you? This is going to speak a lot to uh, your genuine nature, where I said people can feel it, right? Are you a product of your product? Are you someone that they think believes in what they're really talking about? Okay. 
Are you good at what you do? Do you speak confidently, intelligently, knowledgeably about your products? Do you care about me? Okay, this isn't just a, a generic do you care, okay? It's not so much issue to care an individual. It's more or less, does this person consider my journey when he or she makes recommendations for what products I should use or um, what workout will serve me best? I mean, are you considering my celiac? Are you considering the fact that my knees act up, okay? Tailor your service because there are tons of beach body coaches, tons of beach body coaches, but they chose you for what may be the most vulnerable journey they ever set out on. They chose you. It comes with a certain weight and responsibility. Food for thought. All right, guys. Last one on that list, consistency. I had to go there. We knew it was coming, right? <laughs> we all know consistently doing the right things gets us to our goals. I don't care if it's working out. I don't care if it's eating the right things. Or personal development, right? It's, it's kind of what I'm working on right now. Got my eyes set on, on the fact that if I want to make outward-facing changes in my life in general, it's got to start in here. All of in here, right? <laughs> that's how it happens. So for me, that's where the consistency lacks. We are not all perfect, right? It's not the only place, if I'm being totally honest with you all tonight, okay? I'm a work in progress. It's a struggle, it's a daily struggle. Consistency does not necessarily lend to human nature, but you have to make a conscious decision that as a beach body coach, I have to do the right things consistently over time in order to build my business. Fact, accept it as is. Take it and leave. That's all, okay? <laughs> consistency. Here's one you may not have been aware of. People respect consistency and desire it for themselves. People respect consistency and desire it for themselves. This one blew my mind, guys. The first time I heard it, I was like, holy moly, it's so true. If you think about it, how many of you have had someone that you work with, whether you're coaching them or they're considering it, put up their hand and say, you're such an inspiration. Thank you for always sharing your before and afters. You're so brave. Or thanks for always checking in on me. Or for always sharing your sweaty selfies. You know, guys, they're putting their hand up and they're saying to you, I could do it too. That's amazing. This person is really experiencing life-changing uh, day, daily activities that they're doing consistent, consistently. It's lending to a better lifestyle, one that I may want for myself. So every single time you demonstrate consistency, you almost drop bait in the water. You almost put out the feelers to see who else has it in them. Because people are looking to you. It's at the speed of the leader at the speed of the leader. So if you're demonstrating consistently over time, you're gonna notice your team will stumble after you in the beginning, right? Because we're all works in progress. So if you're thinking, I could be more consistent in certain avenues of my life, whether it be building the chemistry with people or demonstrating my character, whatever the case may be, intentionally decide that's something you wanna work on. I mentioned to you guys that I'm working on my personal development. Here's a really good book that I'm working on, okay? It's called Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion by Dr. Robert Cialdini. He does an amazing job of talking about the additional factors of influence. As a beach body coach, I wonder if influence comes into play in your day to day. I wonder. <laughs> okay, guys, Dr. Cialdini is going to jump into, he gets into, uh, uh, I mean, it's it's an amazing read. Okay, audio crazy busy now. Okay, those are to say a check out from the neck up. Right? <laughs> are you as consistent with your relationships? as you are with say, you know, staying with, with the posting and getting your own workouts in and let's be honest, the stuff that's for number one, right? It's sometimes a little easier to get your Shakeology in, especially when you already started seeing those results and you're on the journey. 
because it's for me, so I can get that in, right? It's a little easier to become consistent there. But are you as consistent staying in contact with all of your relationships? I don't just mean the low hanging fruit, right? I don't just mean those beach body leads that roll out. I don't just mean the people that are liking, loving, and following you around on social media. I mean all of your relationships. Food for thought. Next important principle, people won't believe you until they see you, okay? Again, people won't believe you until they see you. I like to put this in on the consistency slide because many of you are really good at making that initial reach out, right? I don't mind connecting with a new lead that comes out of each body or somebody that I just friend requested or whatever the case may be, and I'm going to invite them to my challenge group. And it's exciting, it's great right now, but then they fall off and don't keep up with the challenge group. And then what? Two weeks later, they sign up with someone else. That's what happens, okay? You cannot leave business on the table. Because the truth is that sales occur between the seventh and tenth follow-up. How many people on this call follow up seven or ten times? How much business are you leaving on the table? Not a good feeling, especially when you're doing the work. So, people won't believe you until they see you. Consider they're watching. If you checked in with me two months ago but then I never heard from you again, all that does is inspire that discouraging feeling, right? The same way you can create advocates, you can create the other kind. Consider your service. People won't believe you until they see you. So, talked a lot tonight, but the truth is, all I'm trying to get to, guys, is that relationship building, developing, deepening relationships, building trust, all of that is a contact sport. It requires regular contact with people, but time is scarce. I know many of you are living crazy busy lives. And if I were to say how many of you have three hours for your business, two hours for your business, a whopping one hour for your business every day, it's hard to feel like I've given enough time to my business at all, right? Especially when I'm not working a system. It just, it inspires that feeling of guilt. You feel like you didn't do enough or did anybody fall through the cracks? What's missing there is not, it's not that you're a bad business owner. It's not that you're a bad business person. It's that you don't have a system, okay? Because no one person can do it all. It's not possible. You end up doing everything halfway. So you need to employ the right systems or tools that help you leverage that busy time. So that's what I want to talk to you about next, okay? Last important principle, guys. <clears throat> Investing time and connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships. Invest in time and connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships. Okay, so in order to deepen relationships, in order to build trust, I need a system, Jay, that's what you said. But there are tons of systems. Where do I start? What do I need? I'm so happy you passed. Fantastic. You need a system that will help you stay in regular contact with all of your relationships, right? We said a moment ago, not just the low hanging fruit, Everyone, you need to know when to contact them because as a busy person where we're living in a world where we can connect with 2,000 people through social media, some of you have thousands of Facebook friends, thousands of Instagram friends, in that world, you need to get systemized about who you contact and when. And in order to do that, you need to establish a priority for every person you work with. You need to take a hard look and decide, you know what? This person is worth my time and my energy, so I'm going to give them more of that, okay? I'm gonna make them, you know, my highest ranking so that I can give them more time and more of my focus. But you need a system that's gonna monitor all of that for you. Otherwise, it's just more work for you. So, you need to know when to contact them and you need to be able to stay in contact with everyone. You also need to know what to say. Guys, for me, the worst feeling used to be I'm doing the right thing, right? I'm time blocking, I've scrubbed down all these darn lists, I've figured out who I'm actually gonna call, and now I have no idea what to listen. Shoot. 30 minutes later, I've now eaten up more of my valuable commodity, and at the end of my power hour, I've connected the walking three people. Great. A negative response to positive behavior. You don't want this, okay? So you need a system that's gonna help you know what to say. Okay, let's see here, I'm gonna mute really quickly. Okay, 
And then last but not least, you need to make sure that no one falls through the cracks. So let's take a look at what that looks like in a system like Teamsy. All right, guys, so I started all of this by, um, I'm sorry, your team leaders started all of this by reminding you that you can take advantage of a free 30-day trial of Teamsy. If you have not done so, please go out and get one, okay? No credit card necessary, you just get to hit the ground running. That is the key to an online system. Take it from someone who's been getting that question for what feels like the last 10 years every day. What system really works, Jay? The system that you're gonna use. That's the one that works, okay? I don't care if it has every last bell and whistle out there. If you don't use them, it's just fun. That's just in there, right? It's exciting to look at. So you need a system that you're really going to implement and use. Get a free 30-day trial. Dive in, okay? You need 21 days to build that habit. Get in there and just trust the system. It's going to set up a structure so you don't feel like you're going out of alone. Now, with that being said, I recommend a success partner, okay? I don't know, team leads, if you guys wanted to jump in and assign these, some groups choose to do that. It's great just to have someone that I can, you know, screenshot my dashboard, send it out to my accountability partner and say to them, look what I did, I had an awesome day. You know, sometimes when the accountability partner might get that at eight o'clock, they might be like, well, I'm gonna have a great day too. Right? I'm getting to it now. So sometimes it's just kind of helps. It starts to just light that fire a little bit. So if you don't have to come a little more highlight a sister or sideline brother, however you want to put it. Okay, I've heard it so many different ways. Yeah. That the odds in your favor, especially when you're getting started. Okay, let's take a look. All right, guys. So I am sharing my Teamsy screen with you now. If you have already taken advantage of the trial and you logged in, you have already gone through the setup process, or maybe you clicked around a little bit and you're thinking, how do I get back to setup? Okay. To get back to the setup wizard, in the upper right-hand corner, you have a wheel, and you can go down to, <coughs> excuse me, to setup wizard. This is going to redirect you to our three-step setup process. I'm just going to take a sip of water. Okay, so in our three-step setup process, the first step, we're going to help you set up an income goal because Teensy is so much more than just a tracking app. It is a lead generation system. We are going to be, we're going to actually establish a structure for you so that you know how close or how far you are to meeting your goal at any given time, okay? So you're going to consider, first step, what do I want to grow my business by in the next 12 months, okay? I know some of you are already incredible producers. So think, if you did, I don't know, $50,000 last year, if you want to do $100,000 by the end of this year or something, then you know what your 12-month goal should be, okay? With that 12-month goal, it's not just going to hang out in Teamsy somewhere as a reminder for you. This actually will be used in our algorithm that we crunch for you the number of highly productive activities you need to complete every day to stay on track. No guesswork. No figuring it out as you go along, none of that weird guilty feeling, you'll know what you need to do every day, okay? So we're gonna set that income goal. Step two, we are going to create a powerful why statement. Again, I know I'm talking to the right community, you guys have heard of a powerful why statement before. If you have not, we have an exercise in here that walks you through the process. Your powerful why ends up just being your armor, right? As you go out into this world of challenges, objections, and just hard, right? This is your reminder to yourself of why I got in this business. Why should I be resilient in this moment? On a day where I got nothing but objections, why should I get up and do this again tomorrow? Your why statement serves as that reminder in your own voice, right? A little whisper at the end of the night, that's all you got left. So, food for thought. Do you have a powerful why? If not, Kinsey's gonna help you create one. Okay, step three, the meat of the setup process, importing contacts. Every single person is going to take a deep breath with you right now, okay? I know this can be the scary part, but it's okay. Come along with us, okay? I know that you're going to be importing from LinkedIn, from Facebook, from your back office. So we can do it in, like, sort of segmented. And we could, we're going to walk you through that in the next few steps. So first step, for, first step in the setup process, I'm going to establish my income goal. Let's say I want to make $100,000. I'm going to hit continue here. Teensy's going to immediately start to crunch those numbers, and it lets me know, based on my $100,000 goal, I need to connect 2,899 times in the next 12 months. Okay, that looks like a really big number that scares me a lot, but it's okay. 
if you were to stop and think of how many people you connect with on a daily basis, let alone weekly, let alone monthly, or annually, that number would be staggering. So trust the system. It's giving you a structure, okay? So we're gonna hit continue here. The system's now going to break that down for me even further. So I can see, okay, bite-sized chunks, okay? Guys, in working in business coaching for so long, I realized that the difference between an achievable goal and a not so achievable goal are having um, feasible milestones or achievable milestones. Where do I literally put my foot next? If I'm on this path, where do I step? Otherwise, human nature leads us to deviate, right? We make it up as we go along. Oh, I'll try this path, or this seems easier, right? And all that's gonna do is lead you further from your goal. So Teensy has established for you bite-sized chunks. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time, okay? Not to worry, guys, no elephants were harmed in the making of that race. Okay, so we've got your connections now broken down by prospect, by customers, and then by coaches. Let's be serious, it's the way that you see the world now, right? <laughs> so you get to consider, okay, 2,899, but that's only six connections to my prospects, four to my customers, and three to my coaches. Well, I can do that, totally feasible, right? Now, if you're thinking, well, Jay, I do that for breakfast, awesome, okay, you're fantastic. <laughs> Go ahead and get ambitious in these fields. Go for your stretch goal. This is your baseline, your path of sorts, right? If you want to hit that path, go at 100 miles an hour, by all means. Your choice. Okay, so get in here. You can manually override those if you like. We're also setting goals for your invites or those intentional calls to action when you invite someone to an event or an upcoming challenge group or a product or anything like that. And then you've also got an, um, an a daily goal for ads, lead generation system. Remember, it's helping you constantly bring in new people. Okay, so we'll hit continue here and we're on to the next step in the process, which is finding that why. Okay, finding your powerful why statement. If you need more information, I would recommend that you watch that little tutorial video. Otherwise, you're just answering these fields. If you're thinking, Jay, I answered all the questions, but my why statement is not on my dashboard, you wanna make sure that you've taken the answers here and you put them in the bottom, okay? Once they're in this field, it will populate on your dashboard. We'll hit continue and we're through to the import process. Okay guys, here's my first few tips for setup, okay? Importing from your back office. My team leads on the call tonight. If you're thinking, you know what, I like to keep sight of some of the people that my downline's working with or some of the folks that my upline's working with, then you can export your hierarchy report or your branch report Otherwise, everybody else, I recommend that you export your personally sponsored only, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna get some of that muddiness where it includes people that you don't directly work with, okay? So, I recommend that you pull personally sponsored unless you want to keep track of some of your downline or some of your upline, okay? Other than that, again, Team Z was built originally for Beachbody, so we've really streamlined your setup process. When you're bringing in your customers and your coaches, it's gonna come in almost sort of automatically. Okay? Now, when you're ready to export from Facebook, we're noticing that Facebook has made some recent adjustments. They're changing the way that you can pull data. So if you're thinking, Jay, I, pulled, I requested my data uh, three days ago, it never came in, head back over to Facebook. Um, head back over to Facebook, go to your settings section. Now this time, when I go to download a copy, instead of seeing start my archive here, I need to see download my archive. So if you've been waiting even a few hours, log back into your settings and then go over here and you'll see download my archive. And that's gonna automatically launch that file for you. That's my one recommendation with Facebook, otherwise you should be good to go. These videos take you through that step by step. Okay, last but not least, there's a video here for importing those files into Teensy. Now, some of you may be thinking, okay, I need to export from, you know, I was using Street, or um, I need export instructions for Gmail or for LinkedIn. Stick with me. I'm going to share my contact information with you. Reach out to me directly. Let me know what instructions you need, and I'll get you those, okay? When you're ready to import to Teamsy, it'll be as simple as choosing your file. Now, if you're unsure, if you're thinking, I don't know if this is the right format, just choose the file. Teamsy will give you a yay or a nay. Okay, here are the acceptable file formats listed for you here, but otherwise you can just wait for it to give you the go ahead. 
All right, once my file is appropriate for upload, I can do a few things here, guys. I can actually click on advanced import options, and it's gonna let me blanket rank every single person in this database, or apply a tag to every single person in this, on this file. So I can say, so when you're bringing in lists from Facebook, from LinkedIn, all these different sources, I could say, you know what, these are my Facebook friends. Or if I've got, um, some of you have, you, you rock out some amazing elaborate Excel spreadsheets. So if you're bringing in those spreadsheets, you could say, you can title it, I have some that are, have sheets that are like challenge groups by date. You can literally create a tag by challenge group. You can create um, tags if you've got individuals that are interested in certain products or anything like that, okay? So that's how you can use your tags upon import. It's gonna apply it to everyone at once. You will reserve the right to change tags once you get them in the system. Okay, in addition to tagging, you can also go through and apply member types. So if this is a full list of customers, you can say customers or coaches. Again, your import, or your, excuse me, your export file from your back office will automatically be typed correctly. Okay, so we'll hit continue. The system automatically maps my file. It puts the email addresses with email addresses, phone numbers with phone numbers, and so on. It drops the contacts into Teamsy, and it immediately brings me through to the prioritization process. We talked earlier about how important it is to have a system that helps you know who to contact and when. This is the key. You need to tell us who's the most important to you. Who are your rock stars or your hottest group that you want to contact every 30 days? Because every 30 days, like clockwork, Teamsy is going to create a list for you of those individuals that you need to reach out to. The same is going to go for your four stars every 60 days, your three stars every 90, your two stars every 120 days. Your one stars are never going to show up. So my one recommendation with your one stars would be for anyone who's bringing in members from your upline or downline. That gives you almost a holding tank, so you have their information on file, but they're not muddying the water of your daily follow-ups, okay? So, when we're ready to rank, you can always watch that video, it'll take you through the process. You'll hit rank here, and it's gonna redirect you straight to what's known as our rank mode. Just makes the ranking process really quick and simple. I can go down this list and quickly rank. I recommend when you're bringing in lists that will start to build to 1,000, 2,000 names, do this in passes, okay? Don't get overwhelmed. Everyone comes in at a three-star ranking, okay? Three stars. So it gives you almost a security net. Go through and try and establish your four and your five stars from there because they need greater frequency connections, but everybody else is kind of in that safety place. So I'll go through and literally just try and cherry pick my four and my five stars. Okay, great. Some are going to be easier than others, obviously. Go through, the, everybody has a ranking, so even if you skip them for today, you can always re-rank them or refine as you go along. Now, as you're setting up, you may realize, okay, you know what, I have, Marlo sent me an email today, so I have this email address. You'll notice that anytime you click in, so when you click on someone's name, this becomes their active profile to the right. You can click in any field and update the email address. Anywhere you click, the system gives you an automatic success message, automatically saves those details, you can move on to the next person. It's just gonna help you with setup so that you can keep moving. You can alter other things, you can add notes, and the activity feed tab is ultimately going to be your running track of all activities you log moving forward, okay? So once you've gone through and you've ranked every single person in your database, you can quickly toggle or click on type mode and then make sure that everyone has been typed right. Or you can say, okay, these folks are my customers, here are my coaches, and then you'd be free to move on. Setup is also sort of as you, your, your database is something that's gonna refine or evolve with you, okay? So you're, someone that's a three star today is in a potential status. You're hoping to move them up that scale. So know that you can always come in here and refine someone's ranking over time. All right, so if you're thinking to yourself, Jay, I imported four files, now I wanna go back and rank. Okay, when you log into your, dash, into your team Z, you'll be on your dashboard. From here, click on team on the left. This will automatically put you on your all page. So this, this is every single person, manually added or imported. Follow along to the right with the word all, and you've got a total number of contacts. Now, if you want to get back to that easy rank mode, go ahead and toggle rank mode. It'll display ranks and it'll allow you to go through the list. 
One more thing you can do quickly from here is if you come across someone you want deleted, you click the little mini trash can, it'll remove them from your database permanently. Okay, so those are the majors that you need to focus on with getting your setup done. Import your contacts, rank and type. Once you have finished that, you're free to hit the ground running. You're ready to maximize on that power hour. So let's take a look at what that might look like. So your dashboard is going to be your virtual accountability partner. Okay, so even if you don't take Jay's advice, go out and get a success partner. We built one in for you. Ha! Okay? So, your daily activities. This is going to monitor your overall income goal. And it's letting you know, okay, you need to connect with six prospects today, four customers, and three coaches. So that's how you read your dashboard. Six left. As you complete activities, this wheel will fill in, and it will also update your overall progress. All right, I have six prospects to connect with. I'm going to scroll down to what's known as my who's up next section, okay? This is going to be my power hour hub of sorts. It's going to let me know who I need to connect with, when I need to connect with, what I'm going to say, and what details I need for that connection, all from my dashboard without me having to check my spreadsheet and then pull up my other app and then go, all of that was a part of the process before, but you no longer have to scrub those lists. You've done all of that in your setup process. That's why that's so vital. okay? So let's say the first person comes up for follow-up. Okay, it's like it's Marlo. So if anyone comes up for follow-up on your dashboard and you're thinking, you know what, maybe I don't need to connect with them right now or they headed out of town or anything like that, you can always buy yourself a week on any given follow-up. It's gonna remove them from the list, they'll come back in a week, okay? Now, let's say the next person for follow-up is Eric Johnson. Eric is coming up for follow-up today, one, because he's a five-star. That means I have not connected with him in 30 days, okay? If you're ever wondering what was the breakdown again, you can click the little mini um, question mark, and it gives you that 30, 60, 90, 120 day breakdown. Okay, <clears throat> Team Z is monitoring, the last point of contact, my overall priority, and then it's bringing up for me any activity I've used, any activity I've logged for that contact. I can see any details I have. Okay, great, I've got an email address, social media links, and it looks like we're Facebook friends. That's how those tags are really gonna come into play because you can see them at one glance right from your dashboard. Okay, you can also access any notes that you may have entered for that person. So as I'm getting ready to connect with Eric, I could sit here and agonize for the next 10 minutes, 20 minutes about what I'm gonna say. Or I can utilize the script and dialogue option that's built right into TZ. If I click on scripts and dialogues, it lets me choose how and where I'm connecting with people. So if I'm gonna connect with Eric through Facebook, because that's how I do a lot of my connections, it's, it's a great way to meet people where they are. You get to drop the connection, they get to see you supporting them along the way, but nobody's nagging, okay? So we've broken these down by connection, one, two, three, by follow-ups, one, all the way through to 10. So you could literally, no brainer, copy and paste your messages. Okay, just plant the seeds, start the conversation. Don't agonize over every single message that you send to people. It's connect, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the first connect. I will copy, head over to my Teamsy. I do this just because it's easier for me to see, I'm a little blind, and my Facebook Messenger is tiny. It's like this big, so I can never see it. I just do it here. I update the message, add my little hey girl, or whatever the deal is to make it personal. If you're going to, you don't have to. I do another copy, I open up my Facebook, I go over to Eric and send him a message. From here, I would indicate that it was a Facebook message. You'll notice we have all different types. Facebook message and I would log that connect. This automatically sends a message to that dashboard that I have completed one of my six for the day. It has removed Eric from my dashboard and I can just keep moving. Guys, this is how you build momentum, okay? If you're thinking, I've only ever been able to connect with 10 people a day, it's because you were, you were eating up valuable time in between. You are now throwing out the scrubbing of the list. You are now throwing out the agonizing over what you're gonna say. You're able to just get down to it. You never know how far the ripples go, okay? Just from a, hey, how are you? I'm here to support you, reach out when you need me, okay? So, as we're going through, you may realize, you know what, William and I chat about uh, shapes. Okay, so I am actually chatting with William on the phone and I am inviting him to something, so I'm actually going to indicate that this was an intentional call to action. 
So I, I'm going to go ahead and indicate that it's an invite. And then I can stipulate what kind of invite. So I'm telling you to try the shakes. And I'm going to go ahead and log that connect. This now updates my dashboard that I've connected with yet another prospect. I have also logged an invite for the day, and William has disappeared from my dashboard list. But you know what? I, I want to follow up with Will tomorrow with all of the details about Shakeology. I want to check in with him, see if he checked out the website, whatever the deal may be. But he's a five star. I just completed a connect, so he's not coming up for 30 days. What I can do is actually search for William's profile, either by first or last name using the search field. From here, I can see that, okay, right now he's set for a default follow-up. But if I click this little area, I can tell Teamsy when to serve William back up to me without me having to go look for him. So you know what? In a couple days, I want to check in with William and see what he thought about the shapes. I don't have to save anything, but the system does an automatic save for me. I can click my dashboard again and move on to the next person. Let's say I connect with Trisha today and we chat about my upcoming challenge group. Another invite. I'm going to indicate we spoke by Facebook message. Invite, select type. I can indicate it was a challenge group. But you know what? Trisha needs to run right now, but I want to get her all the details for the group tomorrow. What I can do, I can reset the follow up right here from the dashboard. In Trisha's connect section, I can click default and go down to tomorrow. Now, when I log this connect, Removes Trisha from my dashboard, logs that I connected with a prospect, logs that I connected, that I actually sent an invite. And Teensy is formulating for me my overall follow-ups list. So without me having to go and create a separate follow-ups list, without me having to create a calendar event or whatever the deal is, I now have my follow-ups set. I now know exactly where to check when I need to time block for the day. Okay, I've got six prospects to connect with, four customers, three coaches, and two follow-ups. I need an hour and 20 minutes for today. Get systemized about your business. Okay, guys, this is a perfect place to open up. I know I have a tendency to over talk. So I'm going to open up the floor to any questions you guys may have, and then I'll jump back in and share with you a few more features if you've got some time to hang tight. Okay? Feel free to unmute yourselves, or you can just jump in the chat and ask. And I'm telling you what, guys, if you don't jump in and talk, I'm just going to keep talking. <laughs> you know, actually, I've got a question. I don't know if you're going to hit on this here in a second, so I might be jumping the gun here. Um, so when you're logging something, and then let's say as you're logging this, you send somebody a Facebook message or whatever, and throughout the day, they're replying, and you're kind of going back and forth. How do you log the back and forth messages? What's the easiest system that you have for kind of, you know, like if you're talking to them all day long, and you get 30 messages back and forth real quick, what do you do with those? So what I normally do is I use the notes field for that. So if I'm talking to Carmen on the phone, I can do that right from the dashboard, right? If I'm talking to Carmen, I send her a Facebook message or something like that. Actually, you know, we'll pull up a profile. Um, let's say I'm talking to Eric. I sent him that message earlier through Facebook, but he's responded. He let me know he's interested in the upcoming challenge group. What I normally do, actually, Justin, is I go over to my Facebook. I actually do a copy. Like, I copy the entire message. Okay. Copy, and then I come over to my notes section, and I paste it in there. And it gives me all the timestamps and everything, so I can always update this. Now when I add, let's say I add Eric to my dashboard. If I go over to Eric now and I select notes, I'll be able to see all of the, the running track of the conversation that I've had so far. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now, granted, you don't have to do it with every message. Like I said, it can always be the last message where you can paraphrase, but that note section is going to be the best for sort of keeping track of what's coming back and forth. Fantastic. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, and, and obviously, that note section can be used for more than just conversations, guys, as we're going along, but that's just more or less um, a little tip for now. Okay, let's see here. Um, Um, so Jessica, it sounds like you're excited to get started with Teensy. Absolutely, you can hit the ground running right away. You want to bring in, even if you're thinking I'm newer, I may not have customers, I may not have coaches or anything like that, you can always bring a prospect list or you can bring in your Facebook list so you can start connecting. Everybody had a day one. So yes, hit the ground running, get your Teensy trial, decide how you want to attack. Okay, uh, let's see here. Is there a way to skip a follow-up that is due or change the follow-up date without putting in a connect? Yes. Absolutely. So 
In order to do so, in addition to your follow-ups list on your dashboard, you have an ongoing follow-ups list on your team page. So if you click on team, along the left-hand side here in the filters, if you click upcoming, this is gonna give you every single follow-up that's pending, right? So let's say, you know what, I have Eric set for tomorrow, but I wanna, you know what, I need to give myself a few days. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to four days from now. So you can always override it in that way. You can do the same thing by searching for a contact. So if I search for someone's name, from here I can always override their follow-up, even if one is currently existing. Okay, let's see here. Okay guys, feel free to jump in the chat if you have additional questions. I'm gonna jump in and show you a few more features that I think will, you'll find helpful as you're getting started. So, as you're connecting with people, you're gonna sell them things, right? <laughs> you're gonna convert them into coach status. So, with that in mind, you should be a, you, you are able to track your sales in Team Z as well. So let's say, um, so earlier I chatted with Marlo about shapes. I invited him to try the shapes. So going through my day, I pull up my back office, I realize holy moly, Marlo bought the flipping shapes. Woo! I can go ahead and pull up his profile. From here, I now have a connect and a sale option. If I indicate sale, I can choose we do have a few options right now. You can always give us suggestions if there's something you'd like to see in there, but we're working on getting those a little more customized for you. So for now, I can indicate Shake Home Direct and save that. Now, moving forward, anytime Marlo comes up for follow-up or anything like that, I can see in his activity feed that I sold him Shake Home Direct. Okay? That's how you're going to track your sales. Now, you're actually going to be generating income as you, as you convert people into coach status and as you convert them into customers. So, your business tab on the left-hand side is going to give you access to all of your business statistics in Teensy. So, you can at one glance view, here's my overall income goal, $100,000, and I have made $15,000 toward that goal, okay? This is a great tool when it's six months into the year and you may need to light that fire, or you may need to just give yourself a nice pat on the back. I'm doing amazing. These are great tools, especially if you're working with a success partner or a success sister. I'm not sure if anybody's ever told you how beneficial that is. Okay. So, once you've established your income goal and you're ready to actually track some income, you can come over to your business page, you can click the little plus symbol here, or you can hit add income here. Either of them give you access to an itemized income report. You can track income by earning statement, date range, okay, it's your preference. If you wanna do every three months, I'm gonna log in and add my income. Or every time you get an earning statement, your choice. I would just pop in my total, put in the date range that it happened, and it will get itemized and added to my income report. That can be pulled by year, so you can always do a side-by-side -side comparison if you wanted to, but that's a tool that's built in. In addition to tracking your income in Team Z, you can track the number of, of your co customers and personally sponsored coaches. <clears throat> in addition to that, you've also got a growth report, activities report, and then ratios broken down by connect to sale, sales to coach, and then all time connects. Further down that page will give you an actual itemized list of your activities, okay? This is really cool because every once in a while if you want to see, you know what, what invites did I send today? Or how many sales did I track? You can actually filter this report to include only invites for challenge groups. Or only invites for my free groups. Or only invites for shapes and things like that. Again, this helps if you're doing an internal competition as a team for, you know, who can sell the most shapes or the most this or the most that or whatever the case may be. All of these things end up helping you in the long run because you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Okay? So that's another little report that's going to help you as you're going along. As you get familiar with the new system, keep, eye, keep an eye on your university tab. This university tab will house FAQs, webinars, tutorial videos, things like that. You would be able to actually view by your network. Like I said, this will have videos, tutorials, webinars, things of that nature. Okie doke. Last but not least, guys, I have talked a lot about the fact that I know I am, I am talking to an extremely busy group. So, you should, you are able to access TeamZ via our mobile site, okay? It's not an app, so you don't have to go to the app store for it, but you do have the ability to simply save it to your home screen. So what I did is, so open up a browser on your phone, whether you're an Android or an iPhone user, and you're going to type in what you see on your screen right now, app.teamz.com, the word app.teamz.com. 
Now from there, I recommend that you log in, save your login credentials, and then what I did is I actually, clean that screen, let's see if the glare is gonna let me see it. What I did is I actually saved mine to my home screen, so that's my little Teamsy app. When I tap on it, it's actually going to launch my dashboard so that I, when I'm in the drop-off line in the morning, or if I'm, you know, sitting in the parking lot after class at night or something like that, I can connect with a few people or I can send a few messages. Listen, between me and you, when I first got started, my power hours did not manifest themselves in a solid hour. <laughs> so take the time when you've got it. Um, if you can pick up the phone and log a couple connections there, a couple connections there, you can stay on track with your goal, not have that guilty feeling at the end of the night, okay? So mobile app is gonna help you stay active when you're on the go. All right. So we talked about a lot of different features that are gonna help you really maximize and empower our um, leverage that busy time. The last feature that you should keep your eye on is the fact that you can send emails directly through Teamsy, okay? So you saw me doing some copy and paste where I actually grabbed the message and pasted that into Facebook to send it. But if you wanted to send emails directly through Teamsy, you could do that. If you are a Gmail subscriber, okay? So Gmail subscribers currently can link Teamsy to their Gmail and actually send emails. So I could come in here, go over to send email, and actually create an email right there in real time. Or better yet, I could, pre I could select a pre-created template. So if you've got um, event invite emails or challenge group invite emails, you can load those in Teamsy, save them, and reuse them in the future. So I can quickly hit browse script, go over to email, and there's, a quick, there's an email that I created myself. I can send this email, update the person's name there. We are working on a mail merge function for you guys really soon, but for now you're gonna update the name, and you would just hit send email. Guys, how awesome is this gonna be for building momentum, for starting tons of conversations? Not everybody likes to correspond by email, but some really do, so meet them where they are, okay? So you've got your email feature built right into Teamsy. If you're thinking, how do I link my Gmail? Upper right-hand corner, click the wheel, go down to settings. From settings, on the left-hand, the middle left-hand side, go ahead and choose integrations. If you have not linked your Gmail, you'll see a little button here that says get connected. And if it's already been successfully connected like mine has, you'll get this little message. From there, you're ready to hit the ground running. So, Utilize the email, the mobile features, and maximize on your power hours, guys. Feel free to jump in the chat if you have any additional questions. Um, and I'm gonna take a look over and see if we have any additional questions, but otherwise, that's everything that I've got for you tonight, guys. <laughs> All right, so Deanna's got an awesome question. Will Teamsy remove duplicates? Yes. Okay, so Teamsy has an immediate duplicate filter. So what this means, is that it's going to search for first, last name, and unique email addresses. So if you have someone that you, is a customer of yours in Beachbody, and they use one email address, but then they use another email for their Facebook, and they're also your Facebook friend, you may find that you have to do some manual cleanup, okay? But otherwise, Teamsy is going to search, filter out those duplicates, and leave you with only the new records, okay? So along those same lines, if you're one of these social media phenoms, right, that are just killing it, adding tons of new people through social media, you may not want to constantly be manually adding 50 people at a time, okay? Otherwise, I recommend that you get in the habit of manually adding. If you're just, you're adding two, three, four, five people a day, you just add new contact, add someone new, okay? That little button is available for you in both the mobile and on the desktop. So. If you're someone that's, you know, Jay, I added like 100 people on Facebook, I need to, I need to be able to bring them into Teamsy. You can pull an additional copy of your Facebook data, bring that into Teamsy. Teamsy will go ahead and search out the people that already exist. It's gonna remove them and it'll bring in only the new contacts for you. So you can always update, update your list as you go along, okay? And that's, that's the truth with any file, not just Facebook. Okay. doke. Um, I think I've touched on all of the major features that I want at this point. Like I said, jump in the chat if you have additional questions. I want to share with you my direct contact information, guys, okay? Feel free to reach out to me directly if you have questions along the way. I don't want you to feel like you're alone in this at any stage of the game. Let's see here. Don't make a liar of me, computer. I have contact information. Okay. Can I ask you a real quick question as well? Absolutely. Feel free. 
Um, so if you're, uh, if you're, if you're wanting to re add in more Facebook friends or more, whatever it is, right. You got 50 new Facebook friends or however, um, you just go back to the setup and just drop that file in again, just do the same thing. Like you normally would do the, the first time you set up. It's the exact same process. Teams is just going to run that duplicate filter for you when it's ready. Fantastic. That was great. Does, uh, anybody else have any other questions at all? This is a great time to ask, guys. Anybody? <laughs> I gave them a lot. It was kind of like sipping from a fire hose tonight. I know. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. I think it was a great, it was a very thorough yeah, I just had a quick question. Could I ask a question? Yes, for sure. Um, okay, so I had to put my Team Z on hold. I'm about like just purchase a year. And I love that you guys keep all of the um, information in there. That's great. Eight. but my like what I'm trying to figure out is I have all these new people to add but I'm losing track of who they are because that recent friends like kind of changes after a little while can you just re up and do I like wipe it out re up or um and if you said this I'm sorry it's been crazy here so I'm on no worries, that's okay. So you were thinking that you're gonna need to take a you need to kind of pause before you actually start your annual subscription at Easy? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I did. I paused it and so now I'm about to, you know, sign it back up, but I was thinking, how am I gonna know who I've added and who I didn't? Like can I just redo the import? You, you absolutely have the option. We can you can just reach out to me and I can wipe it for you and you can start fresh. Or you okay. always have the option if you wanted, you could head over to your business section and then you can actually export everything that you've done with people so that you have an idea of where you currently stand and then you can go back and update without oh, having right. to like it if you want it. But it's completely your choice. You have both, both options. Okay. okay, cool. I'll try to figure out what's going to be best. Definitely. And then you can always if you I have a little to gap. back into the trial and export your file and see where you stand and then make your choice, just let me know. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. I appreciate Absolutely. it. All right, guys. So like I said, I know I gave you a lot. So some of you are just kind of reeling. You're going to, you're going to let it work on you a little bit. You're going to get a free 30 day trial. Okay. So get out there, try a system. Okay. If it's not teensy, get something that helps you leverage your busy life. And if you need help along the way with Team Z, please feel free to reach out to us. You are not in this alone, and you're awesome, okay? Congratulations on taking your life in your own hands and deciding to build your business, however it is that you choose to do it. I appreciate your time tonight. It's been a real honor. Reach out to us if you need help along the way. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jay. I really appreciate your time, and I appreciate the thorough walkthrough of all that. And uh, I'm excited to get back on board with it and utilize the, uh, the little tricks I learned tonight. So that's fantastic. Awesome. Um, and everybody else, you guys, as normal, I appreciate your time tonight. So uh, if you have any questions, like you said, reach out to her, reach out to us. And uh, I appreciate everybody's time. So you guys have a fantastic night, everybody. Thank you so much. Screenshot that right now while you can. <laughs> All right, guys. Everyone have a great night. Thank you very much.